Hey everyone, welcome back to Printer Tales. If you are trying to print something on your HP printer and suddenly see error 75 on the screen, don't worry, this error usually happens when there's a problem with the paper feed or if some paper is stuck inside. It may look serious, but it's actually pretty easy to fix. In this video, I'll show you simple steps to get your HP printer back to printing normally again. All right, let's get started with the first method. Method 1. Reset the printer. First, make sure your desktop printer is turned on. Then, check that the power cord is plugged directly into a wall outlet. Now, go around to the back of the printer and unplug the cord from the printer. Next, pull the other end out from the wall too. Wait at least one full minute, just count to 60 seconds. Once that's done, plug the power cable back into the wall and then into the printer. Finally, press the power button and turn your printer back on. Alright, that's it for the reset. If that didn't work, no worries. Let's check out your paper settings next. Method 2. Review the paper type settings. On your computer, open the control panel. Click on hardware and sound. Then go to devices and printers and click on advanced printer setup. From the list, pick your HP printer. Look for printer settings and then open printing preferences. Check the paper type settings. If they don't match what you're actually using, then fix them. Once corrected, click on apply and then OK. If that didn't fix it, let's move on to updating the driver. Method 3. Update printer driver via device manager. Click on the start menu, type device manager and open it. In the device manager window, Scroll down until you find the print queues section. Now, expand print queues. Locate your printer in the list and right click on it. Select update driver. In the update drivers window, choose search automatically for drivers. Now, windows will check for the latest updates and install them for you. If the error is still there, let's make sure there isn't a paper jam hiding somewhere. Method 4. Inspect for jam papers and clean rollers. First, you need a lint-free cloth and some distilled water. Now, go to your printer and open the ink cartridge access door. Wait for a few seconds until the carriage stops moving completely. Now, move to the back of the printer and unplug the power cord for safety. Take a look inside the ink cartridge area and see if there's any paper stuck in there. You can gently move the carriage left to right to check properly. Then, press the tabs on both sides of the paper path cover and lift it off. If you see any jammed paper, slowly pull it out and make sure not to tear it. Now, lift the flip kit of the duplex roller and check underneath for more stuck paper. Once that's clear, lower the flip kit back down. Put the paper path cover back in place. Close the ink cartridge access door. Next, pull out the input tray and remove all the paper from it. Use a flashlight to inspect the inside for any small paper scraps. If everything looks clean, go ahead and close the input tray. Now, tilt your printer gently on its side so you can see the clean out area at the bottom. Slide the tray out again and check if there's any paper stuck at the bottom. Once it's clear, stand your printer upright and close the tray again. Open the ink cartridge access door one more time. 
Check for any loose bits like scrap of paper, clips or dust. Now bring in the lint-free cloth or swab and distilled water. Dampen it slightly, not too wet, just a bit moist. And remember, don't let any water drip inside the printer. Open the paper path cover again. Use the cloth to gently wipe the rollers. This removes any dust or sticky dirt. Now, just let the rollers dry for 10 minutes. Once dry, reinsert the paper path cover. Close the ink cartridge access door. Tilt your printer on its side again to reach at the bottom cleanout area. Slide the input tray out once more. Clean the grey roller gently using the cloth. Wait a few minutes for the rollers to dry completely. Then set your printer upright again and close the input tray. Plug the power cord back in. And finally, turn on your printer. If none of the methods have worked so far, try resetting the printer's network and then reconnect it to your Wi-Fi. Method 5. Reset Network Make sure your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network. Go to the back of the printer. Just under the power button, you'll see a round wireless button. Press and hold that button for 5 seconds. Now, you'll see the light on the printer flash purple. At the same time, the Wi-Fi icon will start blinking. That means it's ready to connect to a new network. Now, on your smartphone or computer, make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network you want printer to use. On your smartphone or computer, download the HP Smart app. Then sign in or create an HP account. Once you're signed in, open the HP Smart app. On the home screen, tap on Add Printer. On the Printer Setup page, choose the new printer method. Now, select your HP Printer series from the list. That will make sure the app talks to the right machine. Wait for the app to start searching for your Wi-Fi network. When your network pops up, type in your Wi-Fi password. After entering the password, tap on Continue. Once connected, your printer will appear on the home screen. If you like our content, give us a like. And if you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel. You can also visit Printer Tales or call us on the following contact numbers. If you think we haven't covered your printer yet, you can let us know in the comments section.